All right, people. So we have the brother, the wine right here. I've known him for a while, man. And uh, one of the things I like about him is that he's an action taker. And what I mean about that is not one of those little fluffy, oh, he's an action taker type situations. I'm talking about <clears throat> even when he doesn't understand what he's doing, <laughs> he's, he trusts the process enough to go experiment with it at least. And that's why I be trying to tell a lot of y'all, like you're not going to make no money if you don't at least go and try. Y'all be buying coaching programs and then not trusting the person you paid that don't make no freaking sense right so so this guy right here he goes and he experiments and he tries things some things work some things don't uh and now today i'm gonna live with you guys interview him on the progress that he's made what he's accomplished so far with it the traffic he's getting how he got there where his rankings are at uh, what niches uh, he in. And then on the back end of the interview pause, uh, make sure you guys watch this entire situation because I'm going to show him how he can scale up from where he is now to, you know, being the dominant force in the location that he's in. I believe he's in Atlanta, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Do, do, do you got bras in Atlanta? Some, I do pretty good for myself. <laughs> Credit cards and the scam? No, I'm just playing. All right. <laughs> okay. So, like, being honest, tell them what you told me. What is the most you've made from this drop service and business so far? Yeah, well, um, the most I made total, just a little, little over $1,600. Um, not too, too much. Okay. All right. So, that's why I said I'm going to help him scale this up, guys. But it works. A lot of you guys never made a dollar online. I remember I met a dude uh, two years ago. He was in his 50s. And he told me that he had been trying to make his first dollar online for seven years before he met me. Seven years. Talk about some <laughs> persistence, you know what I'm saying? Like, talk about mm -hmm. not giving up, man. Seven years, most people would be like, look, this ain't for me, I guess. You know what I'm saying? So $1,600. And, and when did I meet you? You said, when was this? Sure. The beginning of the pandemic. That's all I really know. Let's just say a little over like two and a half years ago. And that's when I like first started doing all this stuff. Like I said, I never really knew what I was doing. Like all that. I was just trying my best to like keep up with the content. You were up. So if I'm hearing you right... <laughs> It works so good that even on accident, you still made some money. So what we're going to do today, guys, is we're going to lay the foundation for, for him to understand how the process works a little bit deeper so that once he knows what to do intentionally, he can ramp it up, right? So if you guys have businesses that need traffic and sales to it, this will be very beneficial for you guys to uh, stick around, even if you are in a different niche from what he's in, and we're going to reveal his niche in a minute. Um, I just got need you guys to understand that there are formulas and laws to marketing the same way as formulas and laws to get in the kingdom and of, of heaven in the Bible. And that's what I teach my students. So even when you don't understand, even when you don't understand the law, that doesn't stop it from freaking working. You understand? Like, dog. If I go jump off the cliff, me being retarded doesn't stop the law of gravity. Like the, the gravity isn't going to say, oh, he's a special needs kid. So we're not going to drop his butt. No, you're going to die. That's the law, right? So even if you don't understand certain things in business, if you're following the law, then you're still going to get the results. And that's what he was able to get. So now we have to get him to understand that law a little bit more so that he can ramp it up and so that you guys watching too can so go ahead and share your screen and yeah. i want to go uh before you show your rankings yeah go to your google analytics because a lot of people will say oh uh when um you ranking but how do we know people call or how do we know people yeah, go to people. the website go go ahead and show your analytics man i got you give me one second appreciate it let's do it You see me? Yes, sir. We can see the screen. 
beings. We'll close out some of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Got all the windows open like me, huh? Yeah, man. And I, sometimes I'm trying to. <laughs> Let's go to. Uh, oh, and there's some other stuff I want to show you too. Okay. Let, uh, let's start from. All right, so one thing I can notice uh, just coming on here, this is the same private helicopter one, right? Correct, correct. The, uh, the, the testimonial I uploaded, he only had 53 clicks. So now you got 65 total clicks. So the traffic is coming in. So we're going to have to work on the conversions. All right, and yeah. that was a couple of days ago. So you've had, so you got a pretty good keyword. So, all right, stroll back up real quick. All right, so the queries, no, 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 go back. Stroll back down a little bit, right there where the queries are at, yep. Okay, so his top query is private helicopter ride in Atlanta. And you guys are gonna go, you're gonna see when we go over to Google. We ain't gonna go there yet. All right, so now you can stroll back up. And I wanna see this graph real quick. Let's see the consistency of start with um what is that march all right that's that may that's may my bad all right so let's see are you talking about right here yeah go in the last the last 28 days go ahead and click apply oh you got to oh. click apply Hold on. Yeah, apply. Yep. There we go. All right. So in the past 28 days, guys, he's got 32 website clicks. Okay. Um, now this is to his actual website. We don't even know how many visitors he has to his snack pack. We're gonna go to his Google business profile. Do you mind if we go there too? Yeah, we do right now. Because they have their own analytics over there too. So we'll be able to see um, how many uh, visitors have came to your Google business profile as well. So there's a reason why I'm showing you all this, okay? And then we're gonna show you his rankings in a minute. All right. All right, go to manage your business profile. Look at that right there. It says 8,125 views. That's a lot. Okay, go I, ahead and manage. Honestly, be honest with you, I don't think those numbers are accurate because I notice each month. Wait, what is this? Yeah, it wants you to prove you ain't a robot. Okay, like I was saying, each month it like decreases. Like it was just at nine, well, it was supposed to be at 9,000 and then it just uh, went back down to eight, which I don't know. I it kind of stopped trying to keep up with it, really. Yeah, the metrics really don't matter. What matters is what it's going to say. But look, 1,196 customer interactions. Okay, click on that. Okay. Hmm, now this looks delicious. Okay, stroll down. All right, so that's how many people have viewed. And then it's telling us the searches. Okay, searches shows your business profile and the search results. You're ranking pretty good for this niche right here. Okay, so I think right. what we need to do is cast a wider net. And you're already on a path of doing that. So uh, just, we, we, we're going to be a little patient with this. All right, go ahead and click on uh, the tab that says website clicks. Eight hundred and fifty website clicks. That's nothing to frown at. That's good. So we're gonna work on your uh, uh, conversion optimization. All right, we're gonna work on that too. I really appreciate this. No problem. And we gotta we gotta figure out your irresistible offer because yeah, it's not traffic. So what did I tell you about the formula? Is T plus O equals dollar sign, 
All right. right. That is the formula to anybody that's trying to make money. It's very simple to make money. T plus O equals dollar sign. That T stands for traffic. As you can see right here, this is more than enough traffic. So it got to be something else in that equation. If y'all done did algebra or math, we do the process of elimination. If it's not the traffic, then it got to be the what? The offer. Okay. Either the offer is not visible enough on the site or the offer is not good enough. Okay, so we're going to figure that out. We're going to figure that out today. All right, um, but 850 clicks, that's not bad at all. And I knew it was going to be something like this because, shoot, you ranking everywhere. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and show the people your rankings. You talking about on Google Maps? No, nah, just on Google. Just go ahead and go over Google. You can click out of uh, uh, Google Maps and Google Analytics. I guess we don't need Google Analytics no more. Let's type in from uh, where? All right. Here I am right here in the uh, map pack. Ah, right, slow down. All right, so this is his niche. Guys, I told you we were going to reveal it. Don't be trying to steal it because he's going to kill it. Bars. All right. <laughs> This is a private helicopter tour service right here. All right, this is something, it's a luxury. It's not a necessity, which is uh, luxuries are uh, a little bit more difficult to convert. Your irresistible offer needs to be a lot stronger. It's not the same thing as, ooh, cure for AIDS or something like that, <laughs> or relieve back pain chiropractor or something like that, you know, like, cause dog, I'd had lower back pain before where I will pay them whatever the hell they want, you hear me? So it's not that same thing. But if we can get people to realize you're not selling a service, you're selling an experience. Exactly. Then that is something different. When you go to Disney World, you don't go to Disney World because you want to get out the house. <clears throat> you, know what I'm you go to Disney World for the experience. You spend so much money. Most people wait their entire two they their whole two weeks vacation which i don't know how the hell y'all doing jobs still but the two week vacation just to go to disney world use the whole vacation at disney world because they don't want a day off sitting on the couch or some bull crap like that on some netflix they want an experience and they will spend their entire income tax check on that dang on experience so that's how you turn a luxury product or service into something that can get the same results as a necessity product or service. You have to show them that it's going to be an experience. All right. So we haven't went to the site yet, but I'm going to give you some pause tips on what to do on the site. Not yet when we get there so that you can create this experience for them. All right. So now, now let's go ahead. Number, what's that? Number two, that's yours? Yeah, it's me right here. Okay, so as you guys can see, number two, Atlanta's private helicopter tour service, that is ranking number two. That's in the snack pack. The snack pack gets 85 to 90% of the phone call volume on the first page of Google. So if you can verify and get in there, it is imperative that you try to do it because even the organic rankings, even if you rank in an organic, it does not get as much visibility as the snack pack. So first recommendation I'm going to give you, uh, Brother DeWine, are you how how cool are you with this partner that you drop servicing with? Oh, they they love me. Every time I call, they think dollar signs. Okay. You need to see if they have more physical locations. Not physical locations for their business, but even their house. If they will allow you to verify more Google rankings. This is why I try to tell y'all, whatever work, works once will work again. So if you got the number two spot in the snack pack, why not try to get one, two, three, four? So if you can get, the reason why I don't want you to just go and get random addresses is because it's difficult to keep the mugs verified nowadays. Google wants that video verification bull crap to prove your business and all of that. So that's why I said, how cool are you with the partner? Because then he can do the video verification. He can show his 
uh, uh, Paul's equipment. You understand? Uh, he can show his uh, a couple of his locations and Google will verify that Google My Business listing. So now you'll be able to go and do the same thing you did to get the number two spot. You'll get the number one and the number three and the number sp uh, four spot. So now that 850 clicks, you can add a couple zeros behind that. So that's the first thing. First order of business. Don't be shy. Call him and say, yo, are you ready to do some, some real business? You ready for some real money? Okay, well, you see, this is where I'm at right here. Show him your analytics the same way you show me. But like, dog, if I can take these spots right here, we can triple the business. It's just simple math. He can be like, well, what do you need me to do? What, what can I do? What part can I? Because it's a partnership. That's why I'm telling you. If you're watching this right now, stop trying to get clients. Partner, partnerships. You want a percentage of the profits. If you get cool enough, you want a little bit of equity. But don't rush into that, though, okay? <laughs> don't rush yes. into that. Uh, but yeah, the more deals you send them, you the more trust you're building with them. They become to rely on you. You become the third leg pause of the company, where if you were to leave, I mean, they wouldn't know what to do. That's what you want. The only way to do that is to control the supply and the demand. How do you control the demand? You take over all of the rankings. So if you prove that you can get number two, why not get number three number two, and number one? You're right. Then you, can, you control the demand now. Now, like, think about this, guys. Why do you think Walmart flushed everybody out of the local? Because they were the only ones that could profitably go so cheap on products. Everybody else that try to go as cheap as Walmart go out of business. Nobody can figure out how to reverse engineer their business model. The first person to figure it out successfully was who? Jeff Bezos, and he did it online with Amazon. So this is what you want to do. You want to be able to dominate. Why? Why am I saying this? Because 850 clicks, right? Right. The reason more of those didn't turn into money is because of choices. People have the option of choice. If you take away the option of choice or give the illusion that they don't have a choice, then they have to buy from who? Me. Exactly. So if you're number one, they come out of that one. They don't want to buy. You're number two. They're like, damn, same guy. Come out of that one. Number three, people have short attention spans. It's only so many times. They be like, damn, this must, they must be the best. So I, even though it's a little bit more expensive, I guess I'll go with them. I mean, who the hell want to risk their life with the bums, right? So I'm going to go with the one that everybody is, is promoting, that Google is promoting. So if I got three or four... Uh, you know, you already got three or four in, on the page, period. But let's say that you can get the two, at least two in the snack pack, too. Now it just looks like, yo, this dude, this dude is he, he's something different. Right. So go after another listing. If you got a cousin's freaking uh, um, address, if he, got a, if he got another real estate property, if he got, it doesn't matter what it is. All that matters is when Google requires him to verify by video, he shows his helicopters and he shows his physical location. That's all, that's all he got to say is I'm opening up another location at that address that I just published right there. So verify He's an actual legitimate business owner, so they have to do it. He can, he can show them his LLC, business license, all of that. They have to verify it. So for all of y'all watching that got slammed like I did in that last Google, uh, Google uh, uh, algorithm update during the scandemic that took out 80% of my freaking snack pack rankings, that is the new way to get verified. Partner, quit being greedy partner with businesses give them a little bit of the lease even if you're doing paper call send them some and then keep the rest for yourself because guess what without them i mean you're gonna have hell keeping them listens verified you might get it up for a couple of days pause 
But after that, like no, Google come right back through and suspend your stuff. You hear me? So partner. All right. So there you go, man. You got one right there. Show them your next ranking. Down a little bit. Here's my Facebook page right here. That's your Facebook page. So let's count together like it's Sesame Street, guys. He got two first page rankings, one in the snack pack and one organically. So for those of you who think that you can only rank your freaking websites, he's ranking a web, he's ranking a Facebook page. All right, what's next? Uh, this was actually an old website. I need to update a little bit, but here goes this one. Mm. Yeah, and that's his. You want to know how I know that's yours? Right here. Yep. Because I see, because I see includes 10% off all uh, uh, off party bus tour, free $200. <laughs> that's the old it was just Yeah, the it's the old right one. This is the old one. Um, here go my uh, okay. Yelp right here. That's yours, Yelp? Yeah, it's my Yelp. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see the business right there. So you got, dang, I didn't know your rep was, uh, your Yelp was ranking. So do, do y'all see how much real estate he's taking up? We don't want to lead it to change. We don't want to leave things to chance. And then there, somebody was asking me uh, where your Weebly was. There it is. Your Weebly is almost on the first page. So give it some time, bro. Give it some time. You oh, I actually got another keyword I could use. And my Weebly is actually up at the top. And then here's oh, yeah, a yeah. person. Yeah, For real? Like, you got the Weebly at the top? The Weebly at the top? Yeah, okay, yeah. well, we, we here. Check it out. Let me see the press release first. Okay, we check the press release. Hold on. I got a few press releases today. Is that Google site yours too? Yeah, that's me. Boy, you be acting like you in danger, man. Hey, do y'all see how many listeners? Y'all see how many? So all of your listeners that you see moving up, you need to show attention to them. The Google site, you need to interlink everything. Link. Oh, I tried. Here, here we, uh, here we, well, not this press release, but I did another one. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Very good. Very good. And that's why you, you notice they're right behind each other. Keep doing that. Whatever you do, when oh, you yeah. create a new page on your, on your website, when you go and update that other website that's older, link to all of your entities. And it's going, to, the tie raises all ships. I like to say the one ranking raises all rankings. So you need to put those on here somewhere as links. You can't yeah. really mess with this. You can't open up the press release no more. It's already published. But you can put the press release onto the other entities that you got. You put all of those on the Weeblies. You put all those on the old site. You can put them in. Remember, I want y'all to pay attention to something. Also, your Google business profile gives you the option to post. Treat it like social media. Make posts. You can schedule the posts out or you can go in there manually and make posts. And every time you make a post, you link to your entities, link to your entities. Right. Google rewards you when you use their properties. I mean, this is Google. They, Of course, they love their own stuff, right? So, boom, this right here. Yes, yeah, my Google. So, <laughs> so if, if y'all right. pay attention... Oh, and I think you showed in the testimonial a TikTok too, right? That was ranking on the first page. We can get to one of my TikTok videos. Uh, it's an old one too, though. I don't even got that same number no more, but it's there. Hold on. Hold on. Here go another uh, press release. Press release. Um, this is a little fun. We're going to check out the other keyword I got because I got another one right here too. So this, so this dude right here, y'all, he literally has enough assets that once like dog just concentrate on these don't you don't even need to build nothing new once yeah, yeah, this one. once all of these hit the first page of google this is what i'm talking about about rank hostage that's yours too uh wait hold on i think so i think this is one of mine let me check real quick oh yeah this is me damn yeah that's him you y'all show that name right there just in case you, they think you capping right all right so that there we go the one Right there, y'all see that? Boom. So <laughs> no, like you just you just gotta be a little patient with it. You are not in danger. I'm gonna help you with your irresistible offer, but that's pretty much that's pretty much it right there. You don't need nothing else. Just keep on creating content on your Weeblies 
and on your old site and keep sharing the links to the press release and to the other entities, even on your Facebook, that Facebook that's ranking, that got yeah. power on there. Make posts on there. And uh, when you make posts, don't just post your link like spam, like do a paragraph. You can have ChatGPT create some type of paragraph talking about helicopter rides and stuff and make a post because that might even get some type of organic uh, traffic from Facebook itself. And that's going to help with the rankings on your website too. So just, just keep letting the mugs marinate, right? Because you have enough assets to where when they all hit the first page of Google, man, you see they right after each other, one after each other. It's yeah. not going to be no space for nobody else, man. This is another one, another press release with ABN Newswire. Oh, this one's old, though. This one. That's 2000. That's yours? Yeah, this is mine. This is dropping uh, 2020. Is this first page? Uh, yeah, this is the first page, but this is like an old one. Oh, you know, it's gonna pull up. I, I don't know what it is. It's still first page. Yeah, this. Um, yeah, it's old. I mean, that video that. don't even work no more. Yeah. <laughs> but that's his name right there, y'all. Listen, man. Yeah, hold on. We're gonna... I just want to say something, man. I'm proud of you. All right. So yeah. just keep doing it. I know it seems spotty, but this is business. Sometimes business seems spotty a little bit. And it, yeah, I see it. Yeah, Yelp, your yeah, Facebook. Where's that Tic Tac? I mean, I said Tic Tac. Where's that Tic Tac I saw? I saw a Tic Tac. Uh, uh, when the last time I posted, it was one and it was right here somewhere. Um, it's not here right now, but we can put that. In. Hold on. But hold on. Yeah, I did want to show you uh, these stuff. All right. Yeah, this is me. This is my latest press release right here. Okay. Me right, right underneath with the uh, Weebly page right here, man. Cause this, this, this is work, this right? This is me. Yeah. And this is this is and an old website. Yeah. That's you right there too. So how many is that on the first page? This is like one, two. I, I was I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Uh, Plus the okay. yeah, plus the old one. I guess we're gonna count that too. And with the, uh, this right here too. Good like okay. let's just say good like eight. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So once all of his entities move to the top of the first page, nobody else is getting phone calls. So whether your site converts, like whether they don't like your site or not, they won't have a choice. And that's what I mean by control the demand. Like a lot of people think. I'm a bad guy because I say that, but I always tell y'all, I want your success to be a win, not an if. When you do stuff like this, it's inevitable that you're going to win because they can't choose anybody else. You literally flushed everybody else out. So once his assets all hit the first page, he got a Facebook on the first page. He got like two, three press releases on the first page. Dog, where's your videos at? We won't. Uh, we won't. No, I'm talking I about like some videos in my press releases. Well, let me see. I got some videos. I know that's. Are breaking no YouTubes? Uh, okay, I need to get some more of my video game up because I have to. Uh, I just haven't been doing that lately. I need to go. Hold on. Yeah, man, that's a quick way to fill up the first page. Like, get some videos and you'll start taking some more of them spots, man. Okay. Yeah, there you go. That's quick. How did you make that video? All right. One time you had uh put up a contest saying using I think Pictory or something like that, and then I tried yeah. to put something together. It was like real quick. Only made one of them those. So I, was, I said I was gonna do some more. I just haven't really got the free time to do it. Yeah, Pictory. Yeah, I think. But um, I, I did want to show you my website. Um, real quick too yeah go ahead and show me your website then i can show you show me the one that you're currently working on that way i can help you with with the conversion yeah this is the weekly one right here i was putting together um that's pretty nice to me in my eyes which um, one is the one that's ranking is this the one that's ranking yeah, yeah this is the one that's ranking okay all right let me see all types of content uh 
Uh, I try to use Chat GPT. I don't know why I made this. Hey, he, he was trying. You, hey, that's what I said, y'all. Like he, he, the stuff that he see you go and experiment. So we did the video, and I was talking about getting the pie graph, pie charts, and the bar graphs and stuff. He went and did it, man. You look at it. Hold on, let me see some more of them. G, uh, of them Google Map embeds. Look at them. He, he. You see why he's ranking, y'all. Even if he don't understand, he follows the process. If y'all want rankings and you want money, just follow the dang on process. It'll make sense when it starts working. All right. So he's already seen a glimmer of the uh, the light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> and everything. So yeah. now. What we want to do is turn that mug into one of the high beams, all right? So you got the FAQ. Oh, yeah. FAQ is right here. Yeah, this is some nice, long-form content. All only critique I'll just say is, like you said, you already said it, get your video game up. Not the video yeah. game like PS5. Put some more videos together, all right? You got, yeah, very good. This 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 is good, man. Yeah. Now, as far as content goes, yeah. I don't have anything to say about the content. So what I will say, let's get to the offer. For, okay, well, uh, let me see something. Got a price page. Um, no, 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 no. See, now you're doing what other people do. What you mean? Oh, you are a local business. Oh. Right or wrong? Yeah. If you're a local business, then your prices should be on every page. See, that's the problem. Like when you go to these local websites, people got these, ooh, fill out this quote or call for this price or no, treat every, if you're a local website, all your pages, even your contact page should have offers on there. Mm -hmm. All of them. Because if I go to the, a page that doesn't have your offer on there, even if I was excited when I was on the offer page, I, I, I forgot about it. I lost the steam and I'm not going to go back over there to the offer page unless I'm like desperate or time sensitive. I got a wedding coming up or some crap like that. Like you want that offer in their face the entire time. People are afraid of selling. I don't know why. Look, I don't want to use it. Isn't that overselling? Ain't you trying to get a sale or not? <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to get a sale or are you trying to be their freaking friend put the offer oh. there okay so by this phone number right here should be a reminder of the offer okay let me see if i can find one of my old my old sites a party bus site party bus let me see all right, stop sharing. I'm going to share my screen. Yeah, no problem. All righty. But everything you're doing, man, is, is good. Just please be patient with it. When I say be patient, I mean don't try to go run and start running Facebook ads all day. You can make oh, no. money. Yeah, but, but, like, get this right here first because yeah, yeah. now you can start. Like, dude, you have enough traffic already. So why you can run retargeting ads? Why you seems, run retargeting ads? Okay, well, one, like I said, I don't really, I didn't really like know about all that stuff like that extent. Oh, I was just okay. Yeah, the okay. uh, stuff we do, but when it comes to the traffic and people are getting, I mean, I guess since you like have the experience, whatever you are, you understand what's going on in the whole process. But from my perspective, like I'm barely getting people even hit. It's kind of weird, but like. Don't get me wrong. At the same time, people call me like a little consistently almost every almost every day now and everything. But at the same time, it could, like I'm not hear nothing and all that stuff. So it's just like it's just weird. Okay. Yeah. So remember, this is a luxury, and okay. a lot of people are price shopping. That's why I said the more you dominate, the more that authority sticks out to them. Once they feel a little bit of brand trust with you. They'll say, all right, let's go ahead and do it. All right. But we're going to use the offer to get them off of the fence. We don't want them on the fence. We don't no. want to have to get on a call with them either to get them to convert. Most of the people that got in all of my courses, I never got on the phone with them 
to get them to, to buy it. I haven't got on a phone on some type of consultation type crap since I was getting clients a long dang on time ago. So we want to make it like that. How are you going to automate something you got to get on the phone for? It, right? So you're, the only way you can do that is with an offer. Okay. Take all excuses away. Why do people want to call? Because they want to quote. Okay. Well, if you, put the, if you put the prices right there, then no need to call, right? Why do people want to call if, even if the prices is there? Because they still got questions. Well, if you put FAQ, if you master FAQs, then there's no reason to call. You've given them everything they need. Oh, well, how do we know we're going to enjoy this? If it's testimonials on the site, there we go. Well, how does this work? If you put breakdown videos on the sites of how things work, there you go. So you give them everything they need in order to make a decision without calling you. All right, I have, I'm gonna send you the perfect infomercial formula. Uh, when you apply the perfect infomercial formula, and I'll give you the perfect, okay, so I got one for infomercials, and uh, is, is the irresistible offer one, how you structure your site. This one is new that I gave to the Money Highway students. So I'm gonna send you that one too, but I'll go over it when I go over on this old site. This old site that I'm about to show y'all, it has a few elements to it, but now we have new pieces um, and we'll, you, you guys are gonna hear it here first. Uh, but any site that you structure like this is going to convert. That will explain to you guys, dude, when the last time you see me run ads for a course? Uh, Have you ever seen me run an ad for a course? Uh, Have you seen me on anybody else's channel promoting the course? I have not. I have exactly. not. Exactly. But I make more money with courses. And that's not even my main stream of income. I make more money with courses than most people running Facebook ads and all of that. All profit because of even if it's 10 people that goes to my page, how I structure the page, it could be ugly as hell. Yeah. Don't get caught up in paying $30,000 for some stupid wavy uh, CSS3 website or some bull crap that's still not going to convert. People will look at it and say, oh, that's cool, and still not buy nothing. Correct. You need to make sure you check off the formula. All right. So we're going to let me share my screen with you. And let's see. And hold on. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see you. All right. So this is the old, oh, first build a raw party bus site. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got the video in the back to give them a little uh you know preview of what it looks like on the inside of the party bus is hello <laughs> but as you can see right here when they first get here i don't care about their feelings none of y'all should be caring about people this is not no easter basket bull crap this is business all right you can care about people's feelings at church <laughs> all right or at your wedding, or when you're putting the baby to bed. When it comes to business, just give people what they want. Give them the value, let them make the decision, but don't shy away, all right? So as soon as you get on here, I say confirm your booking. You wanna assume the deal. You can hear that in Grant Cardone, right? But you wanna assume the deal, why? Because you got an irresistible offer. Only a fool would pass up your offer. So why wouldn't you think that they're going to buy? So you don't want to say, if you're ready to buy, click here, or if, if do you want, are you interested? Or I hate, don't, don't ask or will, don't ask, uh, you know, don't ask questions people can say no to. Do your best. Like I, I get mad at myself if I catch myself asking a question that somebody can say no to. What do you think, uh, you know, do you want to work with me? No, don't give them <laughs> an option. Don't give them don't an give option. opportunity. Yeah. I tell them, I say, yo, when, uh, when would be best for you? Wednesday or Thursday to start? 
which email would you like me to send the invoice to? This one or that one? What card are you using today? Uh, um, you know, like, how do you feel about, you know, this happening tomorrow? Like, what should I set up first? What should I start with first? The Facebook ads or the blah, blah, blah? Like, assume it. Because now they thinking in there, like, damn, he's so damn cocky. He must just... He just no, I'm you know now they're thinking like damn, why is he so he must get they're thinking that people must say yes to you a lot. So basically, what you're saying is cashing in the objective from the start. Exactly. There you go. So confirm your booking. Then you got the click to text because I don't want to talk to no damn body. We want this to be automated. So if you set up the automation to where as soon as they text. They automatically get a text responding with uh, uh, something that can collect their invoice information or tell them what packages you got or whatever so that you can automate this situation right here. Okay. So, and then also, of course, it collects their email and their first name. All right. So now here's the offer right here, guys. This is the old offer. Uh, the partner was... Uh, marketing boost or advertising boost marketing boost something like that and this is just a travel company well actually they're a drop servicing company <laughs> which was smart enough to reach out to all of the hotels and exotic destinations and ask them yo how many vacancies do you have on average okay well what other ways can you make money on your campus besides the rooms Okay, well, if I give the room away for free, that means people still have to pay money at your casino and your restaurant, right? Okay, well, let me put you on my list and I'm gonna send people to take those vacancies at a discounted rate. What do you think, All right? So they did that with a, and created a whole bunch of partnerships. That's why I be trying to tell y'all. Partnerships is the way, man. All right, so anyway so we partnered with them or we got a referral link from them so now we can leverage them as our irresistible offer so it says book your party bus today and get 10 percent off all future trips so that's the thing that i saw that was missing uh from your helicopter offer you said 10 percent off that trip no you don't want to get them 10 percent off the first you want to get as much up front as you can so 10% off all future trips. That is an assumption again. You're messing with their mind and psychology. They're going to say, damn, future trips, they just assume I'm going to have a good time. Well, that must mean other people have a good time all the time with them then. You see what I'm saying? You see? You see how it works? So all future trips, don't say off of this trip, 10% off all helicopter, all future helicopter rise 10 percent off some people take you up on that but majority of them don't the reason why you're doing this is just to get them to trust you to do it today right all right so if you raise your drop service and prices high enough 10 percent ain't nothing anyway all right so on top of that you'll get eight days seven nights family vacation on us through your tra I travel agency partner claim the trip of your choice of one of these places blah 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 Boom. So as you see right here, I have nowhere on the site that they should call or text for a quote. So if you go back, Brother Dewan, <clears throat> excuse me, even though this page is ugly as hell, in his heyday, when I was running traffic to this page before Google said to my snack pack in St. Louis, <laughs> This mug was making crazy money right here. Why? Because I wasn't hiding the fact that people got to pay money. I wasn't, they appreciated the fact that they didn't have to look too far to see how much it costs. They didn't have to call me, me act like um, I really don't want the money. Oh, I just want to help you. Oh, like, what would you want to do? What would you like for your day? Okay, okay. now it's going to cost this. Click, no, I'm going to tell you how much it costs now. All right, so they got everything up front, front, full transparency, $300 voucher, 10% off all future, free family vacation, click to text for the deal. That's another thing. Your call to actions are too spread apart on that page. It looks more like a informational page. And I understand because you've been watching uh, some of the videos lately. Those are more information-based pages just for rankings and traffic and 
like AdSense monetization and affiliate marketing and stuff like that. But for a local site, you want the offer way more visible. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I hate it. Look, dude, even me, like if I'm going, if I need an emergency plumber and I go to their site and I can't find where the freaking money is, I mean, like what I'm supposed to pay, it pisses me. It pisses me off, man. Okay, so we don't want people pissed off. We want them to have a good experience when they come to our site. All right, so 28 passenger, four hour block, 900 bucks. The partner that I got in St. Louis for this, for the four hour block, he was only charging 300. Mm. So how much is that? (laughs) That was a 600 boy in my pocket. You understand what I'm talking about? Then we got 35 passenger, four-hour block. That, he was charging 600 for that or around like 550 or something like that. You see my profit margins? But the only reason I was able to bump the prices up is because if they went to him, because a lot of people watching this right now, like why would they pay so much more when they could just go to the source? Because the source didn't offer this. The source only offered the bus. So what I teach my students with the irresistible offer is to try to predict the entire experience. If it's your birthday, you're not just going on a party bus. There's other stuff you got to do. You got to go to like, go out to eat. You might want to get a car rental. You might need a photo booth. You understand? Or like take pictures and do all of that extra stuff. Maybe you want to get the VIP at the club. So I'm going to make all of those partnerships and include them in one freaking package. Hey, I'm wondering something uh, at the same time, especially when it comes to the free vacation, free restaurants. Um, when you issue these, uh, you use a platform market booster, right? Yeah, at first I did, but then I started like making my own partnerships. Oh, but because you, I was, can still, you can still use the marketing boost if you want to. Well, I mean, I've been trying to use them, and um, I think they either they change up their policy, but basically, I haven't really been. Uh, able to get limited vouchers, like all the stuff like I was, and I was trying to figure out how to get more of them and everything, or just another way to so offer people free dinner and free vacation. Well, if you're having trouble with them, the easiest uh, alternative I would say to you, as far as something that's already going to be uh, packed up, would be to reach out to the local travel agency. Reach out to the local travel agency, see what they got. Yeah, see what they have. Hope y'all are taking notes, man. These are some of Groupon. You can use Group Groupon. I was talking about like travel agencies, like literally Google travel agents in your city, and then start calling them and letting them know, "Yo, I'm the premier helicopter tour service dude, and um, you know people might be interested in like not just flying around the city, but actually flying the hell up out, right? (laughs) So." What you got? What kind of deals can you lay at my feet to where both of us, this can be mutually beneficial? You understand what I'm saying? So that's that's how you want to talk to them and just go through their best deals, even if it's not free. Okay. Like even, you know, free is awesome, right? But even if a person can get a discount, right? You know, you you the you're the plug. Think about this, guys. When when you are <clears throat> creating your irresistible offers, you want to be the plug. All right, so that should have started making a little bit more sense to my hood people. All right, yeah. just be the plug. Be the plug. All right, I'm going to hook you up for your birthday. You ain't got to worry about what you're going to eat. You ain't got to worry about where you're going to be partying at. You ain't got to worry about your transportation. You ain't got to worry about who's going to be filming this mug. Like, we're going to have somebody filming it for you. You understand? Like, you ain't got to worry about nothing. It's going to be an experience. You're going to enjoy your birthday. You're going to remember it, and you're going to want to do it again next year. That sure. is how you think when you create your irresistible offer. So what would go well with that helicopter tour? You understand? <laughs> what, what would the, matter of fact, what would the occasion be? Think about that. You mean birthdays, weddings, uh, special events, you know, the works. Yeah, but more often than not, what would it more lean to? Is more and more uh, romantic. <laughs> Yeah, romantic for sure, for sure. Or romantic type stuff. You even in the movies, you know, these women dream about being in the movies. No offense. 
Anybody watching this? But they talk about all this stuff. Oh, he took me on a, a a nighttime helicopter ride through the city, and we flew past the Arch in St. Louis and all of this extra stuff. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Okay. So you think about that. Well, guess what else? Guess what else they have that you can add to your helicopter tour? Come on, man. Champagne. Champagne, of course, but that should come with it. Well, if it don't, then I guess go ahead and add that to your list, right? Champagne. Um, <clears throat> what do you mean? What is another type of transportation that oh, offers the service. same service? A, a chauffeur service to come pick them up. Watch this. You looking at my screen? Yeah, yeah. Night on the town limo service. So not only are you going to take this romantic starlit, if it ain't no smoke in the air, because we're in a city, but romantic starlit uh, helicopter ride past all of the, the lit up landmarks in the middle of the night and stuff like that. But also when we land, you're going to get your complimentary night on the town limo service is going to be romantic uh we're going to have the driver for four hours if we want to and he'll stop anywhere you want him to stop he won't rush you or pressure you at all on top of that you got to put some in the belly and get your minds out of the gutter okay so that's when we find five star restaurants Groupon, uh, we just say Atlanta. I spell restaurant wrong. Sound good. All right, so now let's go to Groupon. So why am I showing them Groupon for this? Because instead of creating deals from scratch, calling businesses and them telling you, no, we're not giving nobody deals, go to businesses that already got deals. So you can contact them like, yo, can I send people there for that Groupon? You still doing that group? I'm like, sure. I'm like, all right. <laughs> and then leave, right? <laughs> and then, like, hang up. All right, y'all still accepting that group? Huh? Yeah, I'm still accepting the group. Huh? So you just find a decent looking restaurant up in here and add that to your irresistible offer. Make sure it's super like low cost and they getting a, a, a good deal or something. You see what I'm saying? So you just go through the restaurant, the five-star restaurants up in Groupon or any other deal type site or whatever, find it. Like spend your time finding it. <laughs> and those people are going to, they're going to like appreciate you bringing them customers that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Definitely. So let's recap. That is the starlit romantic helicopter ride. Soon as they land, they're picked up from where they were uh, uh, where they landed from the night on the town limo, driven around, like you said, by that chauffeur, waited on hand and foot, stopping by the most romantic places in the city, taking pictures to uh, commemorate the freaking moment of that anniversary or whatever it is, or honeymoon or whatever. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? So this is why I talk to y'all about life event marketing because life event marketing makes it so easy to drop service. Because if you know what the special occasion is, it's super easy to put together irresistible offers. So for sure, man, like this helicopter situation, I need you to go back sites, all of them that's ranking, even the Google business site. You want to yeah. put your irresistible offer right next to all of your call buttons right next to anywhere they can email you. Put that irresistible offer right there, right next to any call to action that you have. Next, you want to put your prices. Don't be shy. Put your prices right next to those irresistible offers. Because when they look at the irresistible offer, the price is gonna be automatically justified. See, the problem with people in drop shipping and drop servicing is they bump the price up, but they don't bump the value up. 
So that's why people feel scammed when they go and see the original price somewhere. They're like, oh, dude, I could have got this for, I could have got this party bus for 300. Oh, hell no. Nah. But with us, on the other hand, if they go to the site and see that they could have got the party bus for 300 bucks or 500 bucks or whatever, they're not going to see all of these extra bonuses on the original site. So they're going to leave the original site <laughs> and come back to our deal site, even though it's more expensive. That's what you want. You want to be different. You understand? So that's how you can work on that, brother. You understand? You're getting enough traffic right now. All right. If you beef up your irresistible offer, I hope you took notes. Beef up oh, your yeah. Uh, yeah, beef up your irresistible offer. And not just that guy. On your pages that are ranking, your call to actions are too far spaced out. I, every couple paragraphs, I would have another call to action. Even as by, whole offer and everything beside it, right? You say what? With the whole offer beside it and everything, right? Exactly. And then Exactly. Yes, sir. Even by the maps, like when you put the little maps in beds, like don't make it like or not or not unorganized or, or um, bunched up or hard to read or anything, but just try to creatively section the offer right next to anything that you believe their eyes are going to be drawn to. Like any part of the website where you feel like, oh, they'll stop right there and look at something, put that offer in that number right there. All right, okay. I got you. Like, um, dude, like with that traffic, the amount of traffic you got right now, and you're not even running paid ads, you can definitely just by doing what I'm talking about right now, beef up your irresistible offer and put your prices visible. Yeah. I wanted to, um, yeah, I did also want to talk about some paid ads, uh, some of those, te uh, those techniques and everything. Because so far, what I got down is basically, um, Try to get in touch with my partners to get more business uh, locations verified, get more video content. My special irresistible offers, um, make sure I include all the offers next to the, the text to call buttons um, on the first page. Assume the deal, cash the objectives, form the booking, reach out to the travel agencies to uh, see what type of offers they got too. Um, boom, the night service. Five star restaurants on Groupon. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. You know, y'all, y'all watching this right now. The reason why I'm so confident right now is because I know he's gonna go and do everything he got on here. Like oh, yeah. I wish, I wish more of y'all would do that. Like a lot of y'all watching this and they ain't gonna do a damn thing. Dog, why you don't just go watch Netflix? Give up on entrepreneurship, a little bit of reverse. Psychology, obviously, I don't want you to go and do that bull crap I just said. Let me stop playing before y'all actually stop. But I, there is no passion without action. You got to you gotta go do this stuff. It's not enough for you guys to keep just doing market research, analysis, you know, paralysis, and like, oh, I just want to know more about the niche before I do. No, 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 no. Go do it, man. Go do it. How did you teach a kid how to ride a bike? You put his butt up on that dang on seat. After a while, you told his soft butt, I'm taking these dang on training wheels off whether you get it or not. If you scrape your knee, that's on you. Yeah, it's the only way to but teach him. What? By him getting up there every day and trying, now he don't even remember it was the time he can ride a bike. Same thing about swimming. Same thing about driving. Do you remember how stiff you was when you was first learning how to freaking drive? Now you hop in the whip and barely even be looking when you're parking and stuff. Like, come on. That's how this is going to be for you. It's going to be second nature, but it's never going to be second nature if you guys don't freaking do it. All nice. right. Is it anything you wanted to say uh, before we ride out? Uh, yeah, there was one more um. One more one I wanted to check, uh, let you see. Remember, I told uh -huh. you I was trying to uh, do the dating niche thing and everything. Oh, you um, wanted to show it, show your screen? I wanted to, uh, yeah, get some clarity on some of the stuff I was doing because I don't want nobody thinking I'm on like weird stuff out here on the internet and everything, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I did, uh, because uh, I'm, I'm, I can show you why. Uh, I probably wouldn't share something on that one. It's more so I just want myself, I'm gonna show you, go through, check off, and make sure I know what I'm doing. Then probably some other time, yeah. we'll, you know, 
You know what I'm Go saying? Ahead. I just want to make sure it's uh good first. Yeah, what's up? Um, hold up. You want to do it now? Oh, you want to share your screen? I can share it to you, but what I was saying, like, uh, before, you know, you put it up and let everybody see it and everything, before we start recording and stuff, I just want to make sure it's actually working properly how it's supposed to work first. Then, um, Is it showing know, anything inappropriate? Nah, nah, it's, it's not showing nothing inappropriate. What oh, I'm okay. just saying is uh, when it comes to the affiliate links and everything to it, it does kind of get like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I just want to confirm some stuff with you. Oh, okay. Well, um, you want to do that like offline? Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, yeah. When I stop recording, then yeah, we can do it. Real quick. That should be uh, that should be about it. Um, <laughs> All right. Is there anything I'm... you want to uh, say to these these people watching right now? If if they are um, if they are not action takers like you, if they're not used to being action takers, but they want to be action takers, but they just been hesitant or afraid. Yeah. What advice would you give them, man? Honestly, man, this is what you got to do. Just try to take it one step at a time. Start small and keep pushing from there. Like, Go through the modules, go through the content and everything. Take it one step at a time. Focus on your niche. Focus on seeing how you could come up. And all the information is right there. So don't think it's like, you know, all over the place and all that stuff. Just take it one step at a time because it took me some time. We, you know, but I just kept returning, kept coming back at it, kept applying pressure, and so for sure, I, I got some calls. And mind you, I didn't really know what I was doing. I'm getting some calls in. I've been slowly booking people, actually noting, uh, knowing who I am out here and everything. It's funny. I even uh just yesterday, one of my clients they took a flight, and it was a funny situation because um. He didn't really get to pay me naturally like how I was supposed to. Something happened with he had to use another credit card. I don't really know. But um, I, if I pointed him to my partners who actually do it. He said he'll get back to me. And he said he'll even uh, send me some money in the mail. Like He said he was going to do it out of his own like will and everything. I didn't ask him for it. I actually told him, like, you know what? Uh, it's okay. He just I was going to give him the client. These guys are client anyway, whatever. And he said he's willing to actually send me money in the mail, or whatever. So I was just like, "Wow, man! Like I, that really meant a lot to me. This stuff is For real, sure, man. man. Like, dude, you you're valuable, and that's why I was trying to tell. I, I've been uploading a whole bunch of videos lately, and trying to like get people to understand. If you acquire these skills, you're not a regular person anymore. Now, to yeah. God, you are, of course. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, but like to to business owners and to entrepreneurs, you become something that they want to be or someone that they want to be connected with because they can leverage you to become better versions of themselves. So by you acquiring this skill of SEO, not only can you help these helicopters uh, guys or whatever and put some money yeah. in your pocket, but any niche that you decide to go into you use these same laws and these same formulas and you're going to get similar or better results. You understand? So you guys are acquiring a skill that you can take with you no matter what industry. So if you've been watching this, you're like, well, I'm not in a helicopter niche. So this don't apply to me. This is any niche, sure. any niche. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to let y'all go because I'm going to help him with this dating situation. So I got to stop recording. But if you guys have not already gotten into the Money Highways Rank and Bank SEO course, like the other smart people, I guess you don't want to rank and bank then, do you? All right. If you've seen something today, which I know you have, that should have gotten you off the fence, come up with that dang on money. Okay. How much is it? Because like I told you, I don't hide. We don't hide because look at the skills that you're going to be able to do. Look at what you're going to be able to do. Any business owner that you want to partner with locally will be able to go up another level just by knowing you, just by being associated with you. So this is the Money Highways Ranking Bank SEO course. Add overnight ranking skills, uh, 15 fast monetization methods for your passive income plan uh, with instant access. So you can come here. It'll be the link in the description and show you all the different AI SEO stuff we're doing and all of that extra stuff. Even we know this type of stuff. We say, if you don't receive first week results, which if you've been watching the videos I uploaded today, 
I mean, I got like seven to 10 rankings since 3 a.m. this morning, just with me being up this morning, playing around on, 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 the, on the computer. So I'm talking about ranking today, like <laughs> ranking in a couple minutes, right? So that's why we say, if you don't get first week results, no excuses, we'll grant you 50% off all other courses, masterminds, et cetera, for life, all right? Bonus, every student will receive recurring revenue share from reviews that they leave from the course. On top of that, guys, students receive cash back for every assignment successfully completed. No other course does that. This is an irresistible freaking offer right here. We even teach you how to attract celebrity status SEO projects without experience. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. So then soon we're releasing the coats. The coat is the app. Um, it's the community using leverage tactics together. And there you will just learn all of the ways that we leverage for ourselves and other businesses that we've dealt with and other companies that you've heard about that we haven't even been associated with. All right. So strongly su suggest you guys go ahead and get in here is 1997. And another deal that we put together to make this irresistible, we created the family and friends deal. I don't know if y'all remember when T-Mobile came up with this, when they were battling with Sprint. Sprint was tearing their little butt up, right? So T-Mobile came with the family and friends deal, all right? And it was they was able to acquire three, four, five different people on the same plan, all right? Now, you might think they lost money. No, 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 no. They were smart. If I get my wife, my kids on the same plan with me, that is only temporary. Soon they're going to want their own privacy. So then they're going to go and get their own plan with T-Mobile. So by getting them on that one plan, T-Mobile actually acquired three or four more customers. So this is the family and friends version of that for this. I will allow you, if, you, if, if 1997 is too high for you, even though that was a good year in rap, if 1997 is too high for you, then guess what? Go gather up your friends, gather up your freaking church, go to the, the business meetup in the city. Think of all the local people that would need this skill from you right now and tell them to go in with you. And you, and I don't care if it's 10 people, y'all just need to come up with 1997 together, not a piece, together. And I will give all of you guys your separate accounts. Boom, irresistible offer, drop the freaking mic. Oh yeah. <laughs> so if you guys have been seeing the rankings we've been getting and the interviews we've been doing and all of that guys, and if you trying to figure out how to make money <laughs> and do it in a quick fashion. Money Highways Ranking Bank SEO course is the way. All right, love you guys. I'm gonna stop recording right now.